there you are. It gets so crowded on Christmas Eve. I know this was kind of out of the blue. You sure I'm not stepping on any other plans? Oh my gosh, what a caring master. Becky's such a lucky girl. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Seriously, though, I am glad to hear it. By the way, are you hungry? Maybe we could go grab a bite somewhere? It's Christmas Eve. We should make the most of it. And don't worry about the cost, okay? I'm the working adult here. I'll cover it. Cool. Let's go, then. Something wrong? Oh, I see how it is. You're looking to hold hands, huh? No, I get it. Christmas Eve, walking with your sweetheart, hands locked together. It's really sweet. But not this time. You know, someone might see us. Oh. What? Enough with the puppy dog eyes. You're making me feel like a monster. Well, we can't let anyone see us, so just for a little bit, okay? So much for having it covered. You'd think at least one place would have a spot open. Hey, you can't just launch into the sweet talk. Actually, forget that. Tell me more. Anyhow, if dinner's off the table, we can at least get a cake. An actual Christmassy one, too. Hey, that looks like a little cake shop. Let's go check it out. They might be sold out, too. Oh, what the hell? I'm just gonna go for it. You never know. Excuse me, do you have any Christmas cakes left? Actually, we do! Yeah, I figured. Wait, what? One of our orders was canceled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Whoa, seriously? Well, in that case... Yeah, we'd love to buy it. Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Well, that's a surprise. We really got lucky, huh? Oh my god, you went to all that trouble for little old Becky? <laughs> yeah, no, I highly doubt that. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get this miracle cake out of here and go enjoy our evening. This is delicious. I think it's been years since the last time I got to actually enjoy cake. Pretty smooth. But... Those lines don't work the best when you've got cream on your nose. It reminds me you're still the younger one here and how I should be looking out for you as the adult. But somehow, I always end up running to you for help. Honestly, I really don't like that you keep putting yourself in danger. 
Why does it have to be you? Still, I can't get mad at you for following your heart. It's the only reason I got my life back. So, thank you. Really. And congratulations on everything you've accomplished, too. I owe you a lot. Not just because of the Phantom Thieves' work, but what you've done for me. You helped me remember what I really wanted to do with my life. That's why I got you a little something. Here. It's a pretty good pen case, so it'll be good for school, right? You can carry it with you, and... I thought maybe you could look at it and think of me. Hey, um, thank you for loving me, I mean. I know it doesn't exactly look good. A teacher and a student shouldn't have a relationship like ours. But this, this is the happiest I've ever been. Uh, that's enough serious stuff for one night. Let's get to the fun part. Oh, yikes. I was wondering what that was. It's really snowing a lot harder out there. I don't know if the trains can still run in this weather. Whoa, 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 down, boy. That's not happening. But I will hang around a little longer, at least. Just bear with me for now, okay? <sighs> I never thought I'd spend a quiet Christmas Eve with you. It feels like a dream. Well, we're both here and we're both happy, so... For now, life's pretty good. Hey. I want to stay close for a little longer, do you mind? <laughs>